eight months ago, I became a citizen of the United States and I've been thinking about during that time, so much has happened, right? I've moved into my first American house, I bought a dog, and I've just generally been snowed under with stuff. And so I haven't really had a time to contemplate the fact that I am in fact an American citizen. But now, with that sort of time and with that reflection, comes a video. A video in which I talk about the things that I love about being an American citizen. And it just happens that I've made a list. I have seven things I want to talk to you fine ladies and gentlemen about today. So if you are new to this channel and you love all things British versus American and you haven't had a chance to subscribe to my channel, do that now. And if you are new around here, you're not gonna know my backstory and how I became a citizen of the United States. So wait until the end of this video and I'll point you to another video that outlines all of that. All right, and so without further ado, here are seven reasons that I absolutely love being a US citizen. So the first thing he says professionally using his phone is that being a US citizen, I think has made it marginally easier to navigate airports. And when I say that, I don't mean that I've suddenly become better at maps. I just mean that, you know, you've got off your flight, you have to queue up with all of these sweaty people, and then you get your passport stamped by some individual on the other side of some glass. And that individual on the other side of some glass used to look me up and down. And I don't think they fancied me or anything like that. In fact, I think it was quite the opposite. I think they were suspicious of me. And so they would ask me questions. You know, what was the nature of your visit to the United Kingdom? Why are you back in the US? What are you gonna do now that you're here? What's your mother's maiden name? You know, what's the last four of your social? So they can't ask things like that because they already have that information. And it always just felt a little uncomfortable. I know they're doing their jobs, nothing against them. It would just hold me up a bit. And I, all I wanted to do was go and get my luggage get in the taxi ride and go home. But on this most recent visit, with my newly acquired United States passport, they looked at me with stars and stripes coming out of their eyes and they just said, yeah, welcome home, Lawrence. Go on, get your lift, we'll even call it for you. They didn't do that, that would be too useful. But they certainly gave me the impression that I was more welcome. <laughs> Number two, ID checks in general. It used to be that before I was a United States citizen, I'd whip out my lovely green card and they'd say, ooh, I, I don't know if we accept that here, mate. And I'd be like, yes, we do, lad, because th this is a federally issued piece of identification. And also, when did you learn to call me mate? You're American. So they just simply didn't recognize it and they'd have to go to their manager who'd come through and say, ooh, ducky, I don't think we can accept, he was a Yorkshireman for some reason. I don't think we can accept that. But now that I don't have to do that and I can just take out uh, two things, my Illinois state ID, that was always valid in these circumstances anyway, or my new US passport. I mean, it's not something I carry with me all the time, but I might start doing that just to feel good. Show us your ID. There it is. Picture of me. This is invisible. I'm not going to show you the real thing. Picture of me on the inside, date of birth and a, a bald eagle to prove that I am who I say I am and I am the nationality that you think I'm not. Number three, voting. I haven't yet had the pleasure, but I am looking forward to doing so in local and state and federal elections, partly because I want to be able to take part in the democratic process. But number two, so that I can experience queues in America because you don't often get to do that because there's a lower population density here compared to my homeland of Britain where queues are a very big part of our culture. I have talked about this in a previous video, but when you are a resident of the United United States when it comes to all of those elections you are not permitted to vote in them so I had to watch others do it and and and, and go on Instagram with the little oh look at me I voted stickers it's just it's going to be embarrassing from me I'll have them all over my face and my body I'll just I will just dress up in stickers Number four, and this is really just tied to my desire to pretend to be an international spy I really love the notion of having dual British American citizenship. It's greedy in a way, although I've known people to have more than two and they are the, the real greedy ones that you need to look out for. I like having two. It makes me feel, it makes me feel special until I realise it's just 
documentation and that's all it is. People ask me, oh, did you, did you keep your British passport? And when I tell them, yeah, yeah, like dual citizen, mate, they think that's the coolest thing. Or at least they, they do this face where they're like, neat, neat, tears and graces. But I like it, sitting in the bath at night, just relaxing like this, going, wow, I'm both, I am both. Nobody can mess with me now, nobody. Let's see them try. And similarly, number five, I love telling Americans that I'm American because their reaction is always great, right? I mean, I've had relatives recently who weren't even aware that I'd become a citizen, which means that they don't watch my videos and I'm deeply hurt. But when they do find out, they're really excited for me, right? They, they throw a party for me again, even though I've already had one and you weren't invited to it. And it can feel special every time just to see the look on their faces. Unless they're mortified for me, sometimes they are. They could be of the disposition that, why would you give up your British citizenship for this? <laughs> see previous entry. The really good ones are the ones who are trying to patronize me, right? They say something like, what you need to know about us Americans is that we are Americans or something like that. Of course, I'm sitting there going, I am American, I am American. And I just want to tell them, but I just let, I let them speak a bit, make fools of themselves before I reveal everything. And the look on their faces is priceless. Sometimes I wish I could film it, but for privacy reasons, I can't. Privacy reasons. Number six, and this is a revelation, I like knowing that I'm American. I think anybody who's watched this channel for a long time will know that I've had a bit of a fixation with American culture and everything to do with it since I was about six. And since that time, I had always dreamed of coming here, if not to live, then to visit extensively. And uh, I've done all seven of those things. I also can't count. But... I did not imagine in my wildest dreams that one day I would stand before you and say, I, Lawrence Brown, am American. What do you think of that? Don't answer. So, and I do, I catch myself walking my dog, Arthur, who's also American, by the way, thinking that thought, oh my gosh, I am American. And then Hulk Hogan's entrance theme plays in my head. I'm not even joking. This is the embarrassing part. But imagine if I'm covered in I Voted stickers singing that song. It's going to be quite the sight and surely be shared across the internet in a way that could expand my reach, but in ways that I don't want it to. It really feels like not a completion of my journey, because this journey is only just getting started. But it is the culmination of ideas that I had in my youth. And I'm pleased. I'm scintillated. That was, that was a misuse of the word scintillated. But I am very happy. And so should you be for me. So I don't want to tell you how to feel. But just please applaud. <laughs> And number seven, and this is huge, I think becoming a US citizen has heightened my feeling of belonging here. It's not that I didn't belong before. I've always felt welcome in this country, except when I'm going through airport security. And that's great. But I think that doing away with this notion of I'm merely a resident in this country, I'm glad that's behind me. Because now, while I'm having those thoughts of, I'm American, on top of the fact that I own my own property, it really changes how you feel about your own existence. And I think it's fair to say that since I got my certificate, I've been made to feel that way by each and every one of you, except my wife's cousin Chad, who absolutely hates me. And so it simply remains for me to say thank you for joining me in 2023. I hope you all have a fantastic new year. It's still July. Why are we... Okay, that's the wrong script. Put that back. Thanks for watching. I'm Lawrence Brown. You can follow me on Twitter or whatever it's called these days and threads. And don't forget to subscribe to this channel so that I don't have to. As promised, here is the special in which I revealed at the time that I had become a United States citizen. So watch that next. And finally, a big thanks to all of my ponderers who make these videos possible. If you would like to become a ponderer and support everything I do on this channel, you can do so today at patreon.com slash lost in the pond or by clicking the join button below. Until the next video, goodbye.